There's no such phrase as third level in the Bible. There's talk of child stage, a young man stage, and a father stage. It's all in 1 John 2. And it makes it very clear it's not just a natural description. It is, in fact, revelation of our salvation, of God himself, and him laying hold of us. The reason I'm using third level, it's one of those few times where I'm speaking of something that isn't as such in the Bible. And do you know why? Because in 1987, I was really discouraged with the charismatic movement. And the Lord spoke to me audibly and said, do not be discouraged. There's a whole other level yet. A couple of years later, um, someone called Pat Mace bought me Yes, I Am, which is Norman Grubb's book, which he wrote in 1985. And chapter 31 is entitled On Now to the Third Level. So there it was. And that became the title of my blog uh, 20 years later. But there's no such absolute phrase as that, but that's what it means in the Bible. So let's look at the third level timeline. Margaret MacDonald's prophecy in 1830 was not about the rapture so much. Everybody says it's about a rapture. And, you know, John Darby used that to develop a whole doctrine about the rapture. But, you know, it's not, it's, it's not so much as a church of overcomers caught up in the spirit, in the clouds of glory. 1890s onwards, we saw the first glimmers of third level ministry of extraordinary power, which has the aspects of the double portion of Book of Nehemiah Gate 11, Jerusalem Gate 11, which is Ephraim Gate. The reference there, why it had to be double portion, it's a reference to tribe of Dan, who toddled off early. So Ephraim had to have the double portion. Maria Woodworth Etta had several days in heaven. She had a mighty anointing in evangelism and power. John G. Lake, absolutely key to the Pentecostal move with Elias Etwaba, also a pioneer of the insurance industry. He was an apostle also to South Africa, but best known for outstanding healing ministry and subjecting it to microscopy and medical observation. And then there were the Spokane Healing Rooms. Evan Roberts running meetings in revival presence here in Wales. Or, you know, you might say it's a Melchizedek order. Often doing or saying little, just often his face pressed down to the floor. A whole plethora of very anointed Pentecostals. A. A. Allen, George Jeffries here, Smith Wigglesworth here, Word of Faith Ministries, uh, 50s onwards, through to Bonker, Reinhard Bonker in Africa, the evangelists in Africa. Forerunners of the power which will be normal once we take Ecclesia seriously in all our localities. 1951, the world's First third level teaching book for the church worldwide, G. H. Warnock's Feast of Tabernacles booklet. These are serialized. That's serialized on my blog. So is the latest, this this book here, 1985. Yes, I am by Norman Grubb, which opens up the fusion truths of John 15, Galatians 2:20, and Colossians 3:3. 1990s, I added this later, but it's massively important. The fatherhood of God. Toronto Airport Vineyard caused quite a stir in 1993. It was called the Toronto Blessing. But really, this, Pensacola, Brownsville and 2008, Lakeland, Florida, all in America, were establishing the Father's Blessing. 
You know, that's the foundation in 1 John 2, child or spiritual starter stage, knowing the Father's love. The Genesis 3 independent lies a wrath state. It projects onto God an image of a Zeus angry God. So being born again and baptised in the Spirit is overwhelming. This is the promise of Jesus' broken body. It is through the veil of his flesh that we're taken right through to the holiest place to meet and get to know our Father. Really, every stage is getting to know him stronger and stronger until we really know him who is from the beginning. This has been somewhat lost from most people's experience until the Holy Spirit really opened this again, experientially across the church. 2000s, the first third level blogs on union teaching. See, the churches at that point wouldn't receive anything beyond 1 John 2 young man stage doctrines, word of faith doctrines. Orthodox churches have long preached theosis, which is similar material. 2010, John Crowder with the mystical move. Remember, God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. 2015, Ian Clayton and various courts of heaven teachings. There was Mike Parsons in Barnstaple. 2000-2024, emergent, yeah, all those years, the emergence of a new breed of third-level helps ministries which have similarities to Acts and Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit. The devil hates these ministries because people see God's goodness in practical helps and give God glory and hold the church in high esteem, even if, as Acts says, many are too afraid to actually join. People like Justine Samba, that the devil wanted to kill or have a nervous breakdown through a vicious neighbour. But, you know, it's not just him. They, um, there's sort of different people gathering together in conferences. They're making uh, known to each other. They're, they're sort of um, working together. And, you know, it's, it's a real Holy Spirit thing. 2024 may not be big for Africa, but huge for our Trafalgar Square. Daniel Chand and David Hathaway ministering together the gospel plus praying for healings in the centermost public space in London. 2024, the Holy Spirit closed down leadership and worship leaders and musicians momentarily just to move among the young people at the Passion Conference at one session. This is an indicator, fellas. This is the indicator of God running his own church. Thank you very much. Why are these key? Well, third level is tabernacles. That's roof with holes. It's what Maurice Serrano calls the new anointing, what I refer to as Gate 11. Smith Wigglesworth literally called it by name the double anointing of his wife, like Elisha with Elijah. Third level is all of life, like the apostles and Acts. It's the start of ministries moving together as they did, as they did. Third level is extremely human, like the grainy wood acacia box in the holiest place. That's the mercy seat. But extremely spiritual, with chavod overhead. It's buying the whole muddy field to get the treasure. It's living Galatians 2.20 as the total solution to the devil's lying Genesis 3 platform. These are all lights puncturing our cloud system as the kingdom of heaven starts to invade our earth. At the moment, we only have rabbi synagogues all run by one solar ministry. But gradually, people will catch up with the fisher folk example of ministry. 
the Chainsaw Massacre of Sid's Pulpit in South Chard, which is in the Don Francisco song. A non-pyramid version of Sam Fife's Third Feast Churches, one of which blew sky high in Fisher's Pond, Golden Common near Southampton, precisely over the unscriptural battle over who was going to be the Egyptian pharaoh pastor of Fisher's Pond Pyramid. This is all ridiculousness. Nothing like this in the Bible. These three incidents should speak positively and negatively to us as we seek to install Acts quality churches in every location on earth. I've got faith for that. Why have I got faith for that? Listen, when I was born again in 1972, there was just a few scattered Pentecostal churches. Um, I was surprised to find there was. The, all the time I grew up, I, was, I just did not know there was one in Berkhamstead. All the years I was living there. So they were there, scattered around places. But really, there wasn't, a, you know, there wasn't really a choice except the old denominational churches. Now, in my lifetime, the Holy Spirit has formed new churches that believe baptism in the Spirit is normal. They have a vision, at least, of the body of Christ and some early examples of moving as the body in every town. It's only middling. It's only young man. It's the young man's stage. There's still pastor synagogues. But it's something, and it's greatly beyond when I got born again. So, I, yeah, I have faith that God can complete the job and raise up some Acts churches everywhere. Doddle! He's God! Doddle! <laughs>